Hey, what's up guys? It's Corey here with Dapper Dollars. And today, this is the Saturday summary for Merch by Amazon and Etsy. And this is the monthly income report for the month of April. You ready? Let's get started. So this channel is all about using the online income opportunities like Merch by Amazon and Etsy to build our income online and invest this income in things like the stock market and real estate. If that sounds like something you're interested in, like and subscribe and let's get started. So the month of April for me on Merch by Amazon was pretty incredible. Not as great as March because that was a $2,000 month, but you'll see that I got pretty close to that with this month in April. So uh, anyway, without any further ado, let's get into this. And so the revenue for Merch by Amazon in April was $1,614. The ad spend that I had was $361, leaving me with a profit of one thousand two hundred and seventy three dollars and this is incredible this is i think more than i made during christmas and it is an amazing um you know just affirmation of everything that i've been doing as far as you know what's brought me success on merch by amazon if you've been following my journey from the time that i've started on youtube you can see that i went anywhere from three hundred dollars a month in profit to now one thousand and two hundred dollars a month pretty regularly so this is a massive, humbling experience to uh, be on Merch by Amazon like this, to be able to make these videos for you guys, to see where you guys are coming from as well. And so I genuinely hope that you are able to make these kinds of numbers happen for yourselves as well. And I would love to be there in any way that I can to help you to get to this point. So if you have any questions or anything that you need help with, I'm always available. Um, just drop me a comment below and I would love to talk with you about that. So anyway, Let's also move on to Etsy. Etsy is one of those where it just is not exactly as impressive as Merch by Amazon. However, the money is still there, so let's, so let's see what Etsy did. So for Etsy, our revenue was $359, cost of $315, which leaves me a profit of $44. So, like I said, that is not exactly an impressive amount of money. It is still money, though. It is money that can help pay for, you know, a few presents for my wife few gifts for friends and things like that and just small things that we can do to help those around us so anyway i'm not going to turn down that cash and i do love the fact that whenever i have uh, my etsy account hooked up with printful and then to my travel credit card any charges that get charged from etsy or printful to my card pay for themselves and then in turn put um, travel travel miles on my card so i'm able to take free vacations with my wife so it's really a pretty win-win opportunity but anyway that's where I'm at on Etsy. And now let's talk about the top sellers for Merch by Amazon and what brought in the most amount of money this month on Merch by Amazon for the month of April. So for the month of April, top sellers were mental health, autism awareness, and Cinco de Mayo, which brought in a total of $386 just for those three shirts. So you might notice that this is a little different from the other months that I've had in the past where, you know, I have half of my income or over half of my income coming from the top three shirts and you know the rest of it is making up a little bit of uh, like the portions of, that don't really matter that much however now we can see that there is a very clear difference and it seems to be very spread out among a bunch of different sellers so for the month of april i had a bunch of stuff going on from cinco to mayo i had the um the uh, mental health awareness, autism awareness, realtor shirts. I've noticed a lot more diversity taking hold in my account in these months after um, April or after March, which was autism awareness and leading into the summer. So there's a lot more diversity as far as what people are buying. And specifically with Cinco de Mayo, this was great for me because I really got to go into Cinco de Mayo uh, for the first time this year. And it was great i mean i found a few different shirts that worked i think i put a total of 10 shirts together and i think three or four actually took off to the point where they were selling three to four a day and it really helped that some of these shirts were squad shirts so they said like fiesta squad or taco squad on the shirt and so people were buying these in batches of anywhere from two to three anywhere from up to 10 shirts for just one order so this was great to see that there was this much acceptance of these uh, shirts. So I'm looking forward to next year 
to compound these efforts and to do even more next year. And so now let's talk about the runner-ups that weren't the top three sellers for my merch account. And those runners up were Autism, again, Craft Beer, and Realtor. Now, if you know anything about me and you follow my channel at all in the last few months, you know that Craft Beer and Realtor have been my top sellers and the top uh, evergreen niches that I go after for, you know, basically ever. And I love these niches still because they are, like I said, year round. And most of these craft beer and realtor shirts solidify themselves in Christmas and then, you know, basically work all year round for me. So anyway, those are the top sellers for me, the top sellers at the very top and then the runners up as well. So now let's talk about where I'm design or what I'm designing for in these coming weeks and what I'm going to be looking forward to most and what I might be shifting around as far as my merch by Amazon process. Well, right now Cinco de Mayo has obviously ended and the Mental Health Awareness Month has already started. So the ad spend and the cost per click of these to get these ads has gone up drastically. And so it doesn't make sense to design for mental health awareness right now. And we'll just let that take a back burner until next year. And so right now I'm mostly focusing on 4th of July, Realtor shirts, and the Christmas shirts that I had doing well last year. And this is what I encourage you to do right now in this time is to either focus on 4th of July, because if you don't have that many slots, then you're going to be able to design for the, um, you know, really obscure 4th of July niches that might do really well. And then you're going to be able to maybe hopefully get some realtor shirts out there and the, um, what is it? The Christmas design. So if you have been in merch for a while, the Christmas shirts that you had that sold really well this past Christmas. So for me, it was ice fishing, craft beer, and uh, billiards. So I'll probably double down on those again this year. So in the meantime, whenever I'm not making 4th of July shirts, I'm going to be cranking out craft beer, ice fishing, and billiards. Going in on those three that I knew worked so well last Christmas are going to be a great way to solidify those shirts again this year and to continue to double down and make even more money next year. So that's what I'm planning on doing in the months from, month, from uh, April now into the beginning and end of June. So that's where I'm at and that's what I'm looking forward to. And now let's talk about why we do what we do as far as merch by Amazon and Etsy, and that is stocks, investing in the stock market. And if you know anything about the market recently, it's a terrible place to be. If you have a fresh investment that got started within the last two months, you are probably kicking yourself and you're thinking that the stock market is broken and it's just there and it's rigged to take money from you. But that really isn't the case. But anyway, let's talk about where my stocks are compared to last month. Last month, my stock market portfolio was at $16,813 and $16,813 with a return of 48%. This month, it is $13,456 and $13,456 with a 18% return. So I lost 30% of my portfolio within the last I think three weeks. So <laughs> it's, it sucked. It sucked quite a bit. And at this point, I'm not putting the money that I'm making from Merch by Amazon into the stock market. I am just, you know, holding cash on the sidelines. And I'll give you a little bit of insight into what I believe as far as when I'm going to start investing again and when I think this turnaround is going to happen. Because as we all know, the stock market over the long term goes up. It, if you look at the S&P 500, Dow Jones or the NASDAQ, it only goes up. It only goes up in value. So if you're in quality companies and you're not just in moonshots that are selling Coca-Cola to panda bears, it is a pretty much guaranteed fact that your company is going to come back and come back stronger. So right now with the companies that I'm invested in, Ametis, Fusix, Hylion, and um, Palantir, these companies are all guaranteed, basically guaranteed to be solid fake figures there. Ametis is mostly funded by the government locally and federally, so they are in a pretty much bulletproof situation as far as being a necessity within their industry. Hylion is a company that is demonstrating a necessity as far as helping class eight trucking uh, companies to reach zero emissions in the future. Palantir is a massive digital play that is going to be part of almost everything in the future. 
And then we have, uh, what was the other one? Vuzix. Vuzix is definitely one of those that's been the highest return for me for sure. And this augmented reality um, technology that they're bringing to the medical field is showing a massive necessity. So it doesn't seem like Vuzix is going anywhere. Most of these companies, if not all of them that I'm invested in right now, are going to be here for the long haul. So if I have buying opportunities, like with Palantir, then I will likely take advantage of that. However, with the other companies I'm invested in, Hylion, I've invested as much money as I want right now. I might invest a little bit more, but maybe only like $200 more. Uh, Palantir, though, is the only other one that I would continue to invest in and buy in even lower to lower my cost basis. But right now, we're just having to wait this out because it seems like the market is in a shift of going from small cap uh, speculative stocks into the commodities and larger cap stocks like Apple and Microsoft and things like that, and the things that are safe. And it seems like a lot of um, those bigger companies are shorting the uh, potential income reports that are going to come out from small cap companies as well as the large cap companies, which is pushing all of these stocks down, causing people to sell off even more. And we're likely going to see this sell off continue into probably late June, early July. And then we might see some strength come back into the market. We're definitely going to go sideways, if not down for the next few months for sure. So anyway, well, I mean, not I say for sure. I'm just a guy on YouTube. And remember that you need to consult a professional financial advisor before you make any decisions about your money. I am just a guy on YouTube and that's it. So if you have any questions about your money and you make any decisions, consult a professional financial advisor first. This is all just for entertainment purposes only. But anyway, this is where I'm at and this is where I see things going for myself in the future with as far as Merch by Amazon and the stock market. I hope that all of this helps and I hope that you guys are having a great weekend. And remember, someone is going to do something amazing every day, guys. Why not you? See ya.